reading from Jeremiah. It was the Lord who made known to me, and I knew. Then you showed me their evil deeds. But I was like a gentle lamb, led to the slaughter. And I did not know it was against me that they were devising schemes and saying, Let us destroy the tree with its fruit. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will no longer be remembered. But you, O Lord of hosts, who judge righteously, who, take, who try the heart and mind, let me see your tribulation upon them, for to you I have committed my cause. The word of the Lord, word of life. This morning's psalm is number 54. How about uh, the men read the light print with me, and the ladies read the bold print. Say to me, O God, by your name, in your might, and defend my laws. Hear my prayer, O God, give me ears to the words of my mouth. For the strangers have risen up against me, and the ruthless have sought my life. Those who have no regard for God. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who sustains my life. Render evil to those who lie on me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will offer you a free will sacrifice and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have rescued me from every trouble and the eyes of child. A reading from James. Who is wise in understanding among you? Show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness born of wisdom. But if you have bitter, en bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not be boastful and false to the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from above, but it is earthly, unspiritual, devilish. For where there is envy and selfish ambition, there will also be disorder and wickedness of every kind. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy. And the feast of ever righteousness is shown in peace to those who make peace. Those conflicts and disputes among you where do they come from? Do they not come from your cravings that are at war within you? You want something and do not have it, so you commit murder. You covet something and cannot obtain it, so you engage in disputes and conflicts. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly in order to spend what you get on your pleasures. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. understand what he was saying, and they were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? And they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking the child in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise 
Please be seated. Time for our children's.